Detroit, summer of 1967. A community fights back against police injustice. A war is ignited by the governor of Michigan. Residents are forced to fight back against the local police and the National Guard. So in Detroit, around 1967, there was uh, most likely a black owned establishment that maybe didn't have all his papers, right? Who knows? But there was um, people in this establishment and police raided it. Police ple treated the people, of course, how you think black people would be treated back in 1967, right? And arrested uh, on the books 82 people, right? So you can probably go back and find some of your relatives. All right. As a result of that, the city went through a great uprising. The state police have been made available, and also National Guardsmen. Now, we've uh, put in about uh, 300 state police and about 600 uh, National Guardsmen in the area to protect the people and the uh, property from the acts of uh, lawless elements. Right. But the uprising was against the brutality and the way that the black people were being treated, right? This was a this was a bad night. This is the first night, uh, I believe, uh, 12 people were killed this night alone. Uh, sniper activity broke out all over the west side. They were uh, firing uh, on motels. As you recall, there was a woman killed in the Harlan House Motel, three, uh, two or three people killed in the Algiers Motel over on Woodward Avenue. Uh, they were actually firing on uh, cars on the uh, Lodge Freeway. It was a frightening night. That was a night that exactly 11.30, all sniping fire stopped for exactly one half hour, and at the stroke of midnight, it started back up again. I mean, we both work at full truck drivers, and, and I wake Monday, and they sent us home uh, Monday at uh, 7 o'clock on the kind we supposed to be off the street at 9, so he wake Tuesday, and because he worked day shift, you see. So I'm driving home, and they just started shooting us. This is sniper fire. I guess it was, I don't know what it was. I guess I thought it was them gods. See, what he's trying to do right here is put words in the man's mouth because um, around this time, the news and the media and probably the police uh, fabricated some stories of there being some snipers, right? And those snipers were actually supposed to be black African-American men. I mean, it was, they were shooting. Did you see anything as you were driving into the area? Or just yeah, I was seeing, I come up to this, this top street, and uh, they started shooting. So uh, I asked my friend, I said, man, what they want us to do? He said, they want us to turn around. I started banging them. They started over oh, my fire then. So in Detroit, around 1967, there was uh, most likely a black-owned establishment. Um, what they try to do is fabricate situations and make situations just like today when they have people that go in and perpetrate as if they're with the cause and they go in and set the fires. And so let's not be fooled. 